into engineering because I like tinkering with things, um, breaking things, putting them back together, uh, and went to electrical engineering because I understood how circuits worked the least, uh, at least compared to, uh, say, mechanical, uh, and I wanted to understand it. So went into electrical engineering, and then uh, about halfway through my undergraduate, I found out about patent law, which was this cool meld of legal and engineering. A lot of the courses that I focused on, not a full concentration, but was in the semiconductor space. Um, uh, I, I went into law school and then from a patent perspective was able to uh, take advantage of that semiconductor based background with my previous employer, Fairchild. I had uh, a portfolio of about 5,000 patents and I had a team uh, of just under a dozen folks spread across parts in the US and also Asia. Uh, from that perspective, I was able to see, okay, um, where does the intersection of getting patents and the patent protection that we're getting on our technology uh, come in to overlap with business goals, which is a really uh, important thing to be thinking about when you consider how expensive it is. I volunteer my time to work with startups. Generally, it's on from an IP perspective, but a lot of times uh, I can't help myself. We get into the engineering, uh, we get into the business models, uh, and uh, I find that a lot of fun.